Hello kids! So welcome to our Science 4 Quarter 2 in Week 1. And this is for days 3 to 4. So for this days, we're going to talk about human body system and we're going to focus now on the skeletal system. For the days 1 and 2, so we already discussed the muscular system. So this time, let's talk about our skeletal system. So the skeletal system, a vital framework. The skeletal system is the foundation upon which the human body is built. It provides structure, protection, and support, allowing us to move and function with ease. Okay, so last uh, two days, diba, we talked about the muscles and how it helped us in moving. No, kung yung sa movements natin so tumutulong yung mga muscles natin para tayo ay makagalaw ng maayos but when we talk about the skeletal system it is the framework of our body so it is the foundation upon which the human body is built number one, it provides us the structure no, yung ating mismong katawan and then yung support so it supports our muscles so napansin nyo ba they help each other so kumbaga yung systems of yung systems sa ating katawan they have different functions but they support each other so kapag nagmalfunction ng isa so maapektuhan na lahat kasi interconnected sila and of course uh, it helps in the protection so yung ating um, bones and the different bones in our body protect yung ating mga uh, vital parts or internal organs na very um, fragile no? napaka delicate na mga organs sa ating katawan and it allows us to move and function with ease so let's have our skeletal anatomy so we have the bones the joints in the connective tissues so let's talk about first the bones this human or the human skeleton is composed of 206 bones each with its own unique shape and function so dami no so during our time pinapakabisado pa talaga yung parts no yung mga different bones sa, kat sa katawan mula sa ating skull hanggang sa pinaka uh, kaliit-liit ng buto inaalam namin yung kung saan ba yan nakalagay or anong tawag dyan ano ba yung function yan so we have 206 bones and each of which has its own unique shape and function so we also have the joints joints connect the bones enabling a wide range of motion and flexibility. So, yung joints natin, hindi ba? Diyan sa ating mga siko, sa tuhod, no, yung kumbaga, yung tumutulong sa atin para mas makagalaw tayo, mas marami tayong pwedeng gawin. So, because of the joints. And we also have connective tissues. So, kasama dyan yung ligaments, tendons, and cartilage which helps stabilize the joints and facilitate smooth movement. So, para hindi magkaskasan yung mga joints natin, di ba? So, meron tayong mga tissues dyan, connective tissues, para maging smooth o suwabe yung ating paggalaw. So, we have here, so, four functions of the skeletal system. So, number one, Support the skeletal system provides a framework that supports the body's weight and shape. Ayan. Kaya kapag sumakit yung tuhod natin, sumakit yung mga paa, ibig sabihin mabigat na yung ating body weight, medyo nahihirapan na yung ating mga buto-buto na um, kargahin yung ating katawan. So it's the time na kailangan talaga natin ng magbawas at mag i-watch out yung ating weight para naman hindi mahirapan yung ating bones. Kasi may tendency siyang bumigay, hindi ba? Kapag hindi na nakayang suportahan ng ating bones yung weight ng ating uh, body, so may tendency siyang bumigay. 
Number two is protection. Bones shield our vital organs such as the heart, lungs, and the brain from damage. Diba? Yung ribs natin, yung ribs nandyan sa loob niya, yung ating heart, yung ating lungs. So, yun yung nagpoprotekta sa ating mga vital organs, especially yung ating brain para hindi siya madamage. So, napaka-importante talaga ng ating skeletal system. So, of course, next is movement. Since yung muscles naka-attach siya sa ating mga buto, so it allows us for a wide range of motion and mobility. So, yun yung tumutulong sa atin para makagalaw tayo freely. Then, we also have mineral storage, no? yung calcium and phosphorus. Bones store essential minerals such as calcium and phosphorus for the body's use. So, doon, ini-store or tinatabi yung mga essential minerals gaya ng calcium and phosphorus na kailangan ng ati katawan. Next, we have the skeletal system. Of course, is the body's framework providing support, protection, and enabling movement. So, we have here some of the important bones and the organs they protect. So, ito yung mga, alam naman natin mahalaga lahat, yung mga bones natin. Kasi pag may nagkulang na isa dyan, may hirapan tayo. But we, I, we have listed here some of the most important bones at ano ba yung kanilang mga organs na pinoprotektahan. So of course, we have the skull, particularly the cranium, the skull's main structure protecting the brain. So yan. And then we also have the facial bones from the face and protect the eyes, nose, and mouth. We also have the rib cage, the ribs, form a protective cage around the heart and lungs. So, we also have the sternum or what we call as the breastbone connects the ribs or connects to the ribs and provides additional protection for the heart and lungs. We also have the vertebral column or the spine or the vertebrae, a series of bones that protect the spinal cord which carries signals between the brain and the rest of the body. Kaya, kailangan talagang ingatan yung ating um, spinal cord. No? Kasi, yan yung um, daana no? ng message. No? It, yun yung nagbibigay or nagdadala ng signal mula sa brain papunta sa iba't ibang bahagi ng katawan natin. Once na-injure yung spinal cord natin or yung ating spine, spinal column, um, may tendency talaga na ma-paralyze, no? Especially yung uh, mga athletes natin na namali yung bagsak, na una yung balakang, na damage yung kanilang spinal cord or spinal column. So, nagiging paralyzed, hindi nagagalaw na, halimbawa, yung paa. So, nagkakaroon na sila ng problema. Kasi nga, very important yung ating spine because it is the one which carries the signal no from between the brain and the rest of the body. So kapag nakapag-isip na si brain, ito na yung gagawin mo, okay? Bi um ipapadala niya yung signal dadaan yan sa ating spine. So very important talaga yung ating spine. So next we have the pelvis. It protects the bladder, reproductive organs and part of the intestine. So yun naman yung ating pelvis. Okay. So, we also have other important bones such as the scapula or the shoulder blade. It protects the shoulder joint and provides, provides attachment for muscles. We also have the clavicle or yung collarbone. It protects the neck and our shoulder joint. Humerus, the upper arm bone. It protects the upper arm muscles and nerves. We have the radius and ulna. It's the forearm bones, which protects the forearm muscles and nerves. So, we also have the femur, your thigh bone, the longest and the strongest bone in the body, protecting the thigh muscles and nerves. And of course, we also have the tibia and the fibula. It is the lower leg bones, which protects the lower leg muscles and nerves. So, now let's quickly talk about the bone structure and composition. So, ano ba yung bumubuo? Ano ba yung itsura? Ano ba yung struktura ng buto? At ano ba yung nilalaman nito? So, yung compact bone, it is the dense outer layer of the bones that provides strength 
and protection. You also have the spongy bone, the inner porous layer of the bones that is lightweight and absorbs shock. So, siya yung parang shock absorber. We also have the marrow, the soft fatty tissue inside the bones that produces blood cells. And we also have the collagen and minerals. Bones are composed of collagen fibers and minerals like calcium and phosphorus. So we also have the types of bones. We have the long bones, short bones, and the flat bones. Long bones are uh, bones that are longer than they are wide, such as your femur and the tibia. Short bones, bones that are roughly equal in length, width, and depth, such as the carpals and tarsals. Flat bones are uh, bones that are thin and broad, such as the ribs and skull bones. So those are the types of bones. And we also have the axial and appendicular skeleton. So, ano ba yung kasama sa axial skeleton? So, it includes the skull, the hyoid, auditory ossicles, and rib cage. For the appendicular skeleton, it includes the pectoral and pelvic girdles and the upper and lower rib, uh, upper and lower limbs. So, we have some common skeletal disorders. So, yung fracture. So, cracks or breaks in the bone structure often caused by trauma. So, yung kapag tumatama, no, bumabangga, nag-crack. So, fracture yung tawag natin dyan. So, we also have osteoporosis, decreased bone density leading to an increased risk of fracture. So, habang tumatanda tayo, syempre, nagiging uh, brittle yung ating mga buto. And kapag hindi na pagkulang tayo sa calcium, yan. So, ang tendency is nagkakaroon tayo ng osteoporosis. Arthritis, inflammation of the joints, causing pain, stiffness, and reduced mobility. And scoliosis, abnormal curvature of the spine, often developing during adolescence. So, yung scoliosis, yung pag nag-curve na yung ating spine, nag-C or nag-S, so often uh, lumalabas siya during adolescence or kapag nagdadalaga or nagbibinata yung isang um, tao. Okay, next we have the importance of skeletal health. So, ano ba yung dapat nating gawin para maprotektahan yung ating um, skeletal system. So, number one, regular exercise. It promotes strong bones and joints, reducing the risk of injury and disease. Next is the balanced diet provides the necessary nutrients such as calcium and vitamin D for bone health. So, we also have posture awareness. Proper posture helps to maintain spinal alignment and reduce stress on the skeleton. Medical checkups, regular checkups and screenings can help detect and treat skeletal issues early. Okay, so uh, to sum up, we have the skeletal and muscular system. Okay, so to sum up, what is uh, the difference in the similarities of the skeletal and muscular system. So, of course, the skeletal system and muscular system work together to help us move and stand up and stay healthy. Even though they are different, they both need each other to work properly. So, here's how they compare. So, the skeletal system is made up of bones, cartilage, ligaments, and joints. And for the muscular system, uh, it is made up of muscle fibers that are grouped together in bundles called muscles. Okay, so so this is how they differ. Though the skeletal system support, it gives the body its shape and keeps it upright. Protection, it protects important organs like the brain, heart, and lungs. Movement, muscles attached to bones, so the skeletal system let us move. Storage, bones store important minerals like calcium and phosphorus. Blood cell production, bones make red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. 
for the muscular system movement, muscles contract and relax to make us move. We can control some muscles like the ones in our arms and we can control others like the muscles in our heart and intestines. Stability muscles help keep joints strong and keep us standing straight. Heat production muscles create heat when they work which help keep our bodies warm. Circulation, the heart is a muscle that pumps blood throughout the body. And for the digestion, muscles in our stomach and, intens and intestines help move food along. So key differences, the skeletal system is made of hard bones while the muscular system is made of soft muscles. The skeletal system gives us framework to move and the muscular system is what actually make us move. We can control some muscles but not others. The skeletal system does more than just help us move. It also protects our organs, stores minerals, and helps make blood cells. While the muscular system helps us move blood, digest food, and keep our bodies warm. So how do they work together? The skeletal and muscular system need each other to work. Muscles need bones to attach and move. Bones need muscles to, sit, to stay strong and move around. So they work as a team. So partners sila. In summary, the skeletal system is the body's framework and the muscular system gives it power. So they both are important for us to live well. All right, so that's it for the skeletal system. So I hope for the past uh, 16 minutes. So um, I hope na naintindihan nyo yung importance ng ating skeletal system, yung ating buto, and how it protects our organs and yung vital parts ng ating katawan. And they how and how the skeletal system and muscular system work together to make us move and for us to be able to do a lot of movements. So this is it for we uh, for week one, days three and four for our quarter two. So thank you so much for being with me. So I hope to see you again next week. So this is Teacher Aisa. Thank you and see you next week. Bye!